Hello, my name is John Dixon III. This is the fourth video in a series of videos talking about mental disorders. I have been a long-term sufferer of mental disorders for over 30 years. In this particular video, we're gonna be talking about stress and anxiety. Everybody is affected by stress at some point in their lives. Those of us who have stressful positions at work and stressful living environments will feel this on a more regular basis. Stress and anxiety might mean something different to you than it means to me. When stress and anxiety hit, it hit me like a train. So much so that I would pop over to the local shop, grab a full bottle of brandy and down it until I passed out. Once the anxiety took hold, there was no way I could shake it off. But recently, a few things occurred to me which I eventually put into practice which have seriously helped. This series of videos highlights some of those points which are important to keep in mind so that you can deal with anxiety. I'm going to hazard a guess and say that you already know that you should be taking a break on a regular basis, whether you are dealing with the kids or whether you're at work or whether you're at home alone dealing with your own problems. Now, I am 100% sure that there's a large percentage of you guys who are thinking, how can I take a break in my situation? How is it possible? The kids are all over me. My boss is on my back. If you've got time to go to the toilet, sit down and have a poo, then you've got time to take a break. Okay, now we've got the small breaks out of the way, we're gonna aim for something slightly larger. There is something which you truly enjoy doing. It could be something sporty, something relaxing, something alternative, whatever it is, your pastime, the thing that's, which makes you happy, the thing which you can take time out to do, this is what we need to aim for. And you can't think along the lines of, I can't do it, I don't have time, because we are talking about your mental health. We're talking about having you healthy in your head so that you can carry on doing the things which life demands of you. To justify taking time out to do something which you enjoy to oneself is difficult. It's also as difficult, if not more difficult, to do it to another individual, but it is a priority. How can you possibly be a good parent, a good member of your workplace, if you are not thinking correctly to such an extent that anxiety and stress will creep in there and break you down. For only the past two years have I been put into practice what I've been speaking about on this video. On a regular basis I physically remove myself from my home which is also my working environment and I go away for a few days at a time and do the things which I love which is mountain biking, spending time in the country, photography and that stuff. That's what works for me. On a daily basis we go out for a walk, if it's good weather we go out on the bikes. All this has been invaluable. While the stresses and strains of daily life are always there and my anxiety certainly hasn't gone away, with the help of some of the other thought processes which are in this series of videos, I no longer have to deal with the anxiety attacks. This is the end of the video. If you liked it, please click that thumbs up, subscribe and leave me a comment. Take care.